Good evening. I'm David Giroux. Hundreds of high school students here in Ottawa have been suspended after failing to update their paperwork for immunizations. Under a provincial law, a public health authority can suspend a student if their parent or guardian fails to provide an up-to-date immunization record. But as CBC's Giacomo Panico explains, that doesn't mean a student is forced to get their shots. Giacomo. I spoke with officials at Ottawa Public Health and they told me that while these suspensions are regrettable, they say they really had no other choice. They sent out the first warning letters back in November, followed by a second warning in February, and then this final warning just a couple of weeks ago threatening suspension. And still, close to a thousand high school students in Ottawa failed to update their immunization information and are currently suspended. And there could be more. Ottawa Public Health just issued another 800 final warnings. England right now has a huge problem with measles and that's because of low immunization rates. So we need high immunization rates to protect not only the students but the people around them. And, and so um, it gives us an opportunity not only to, uh, obviously the suspension part of it is, is very harsh, but it gives us an opportunity to talk to the parents and to talk to them about updating their children's immunization. So ultimately protecting not only the kids but their, their families and their, their close contacts. The suspension can last up to 20 days, but ends as soon as a student provides updated information on their immunization. That can be proof that they've been immunized, or parents can apply for what's called a special immunization exemption based on a medical situation or a philosophical belief. But the law is clear. If there's an outbreak, the medical officer of health can order all non-immunized students to stay away from school. All of this happening here in Ottawa during Immunization Awareness Week. Giacomo Panico, CBC News, Ottawa.